okay so um good afternoon and welcome to today's video um today's video is going to be simple and and, and very quick um i just turned off my computer and then i had this error unknown file system and this or uh, this error normally occurs when you you are you have a dual boot you dual boot um so in this case i'm running kali and then windows and then um i can't find my my bootloader my bootloader because it has been corrupted the um the disk upon which the bootloader has been installed on like has a problem this normally occurs when you draw boot or when you you code turn off like you turn you turn off your computer um coldly in the, in, like in the sense that maybe you click on the power button for a very long time for it to turn off or the size or the space you give to the you give to your Kali it's limited in a, in a form that maybe the um the space is exhausted so it doesn't have um enough space to um to install other files or whatsoever or do updates that's that's when it normally okay so let me go straightly and and try to solve this issue first what you do most of the of the open source commands do not work here so if you do something like cd on not work pwd won't work but if you list the code it will work so first you list all the disk all the all the partitions on the disk so in this case when we, when we listed the, the partitions we have about um seven partitions on this disk so we are going to we are going to look at each one of them and then know which on which um partition the the bootloader was installed so let's start from the first one not this one not this one okay so the partition the bootloader was was installed on the on this partition the ad0 ms dos 5 so after knowing if um you're going to get a a response like file system is est2 meaning the file system can be found on this on this partition so what you have to do next is to um set boot is equal to hd0 ms does five after setting the boots you set the prefix so set prefix is equal to hd0 ms does five slash boot slash grp for the grab load loader then afterwards you do ns ins mode to normal and then you from here you type normal afterwards your your bootloader will, will reappear and this is some this is not a permanent solution you have to do this almost every time the only solution to this the only solutions to this is for you to one it's either you reinstall the 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 bootloader again using the the disk or the iso file you used to install the the kali or number two it's either you reinstall the whole kali again or report the, or repair the whole kali um file system again so um basically this is it thank you very much bye